Okay, I'm going to give this a go again. You're going to see me slide forward and backwards. I'll give the junk back here. Um, El de Goss, 1975, Les Paul Professional, copy. Um, this is a great guitar, and these had what El de Goss or whatever, it's made in Japan there. You can see that on the back right there. Um, whatever company made this, uh, I believe also made the Ibanez, so this would be considered one of the lawsuit guitars. You see that open book headstock right there. And they had what they called low impedance pickups in here. Well, I had it professionally rewired and installed these Ori Pure pickups in here, which aren't too bad, really. You can find them on Amazon for like, uh, thirty thirty five dollars a piece or whatever and what they were calling low impedance pickups it was really strange i opened one of them up and it just looked like single coil pickups that was encased in epoxy resin it was really weird so anyway that's why they didn't sound great the last video so i had them replaced with these and i'm going to show you how it sounds because it really doesn't sound too bad and i i don't know if this will become one of my main guitars but I've always wanted a Les Paul professional or a Les Paul recording ever since I was like 17, 18 years old. Now they're untouchable. They're like $4,500, 5000 six grand. It just depends on, you know, what condition they're in when you find them. You know, these imitations actually are selling for between eight and $900,000 on Reverb or on eBay. This one I picked up for 250 bucks. Not bad. I think it may have even been $200, but not bad. And, and I mean, it's made out of real mahogany wood. It's a, it's a like a pancake body there. You can see the see the seam, but it's real mahogany wood. It's it's not like a plywood guitar or you know like a veneer or anything like that. That's that's real actual mahogany wood, neck and everything. It's just amazing. Um, so anyway, let me uh. Let me give you a sound test here, and hopefully my camera picks it up. This is my third attempt at this, but I had it wired like a traditional Les Paul. You got your volume, volume, tone, tone for the two pickups, and of course the pickup selector is fine. It works just fine. These I had to bypass. These were like the tone pickups for the, or the tone selectors for the low impedance pickups, and they never work right anyway, so, and they're, you know, since 1975 haven't been changed so every, a lot of stuff went bad so i had a lot of electronics replaced but without further hesitation here's how it actually sounds and i'm going straight through my uh focus right right into my phone here so you can hear an actual sound i mean that's just straight in line So that, that's the neck pickup. This is right in the center here. And then, of course, you've got your bridge pickup right here. That is really twangy. I kind of dig that. You know, be great for chicken picking. You know the. Uh... That kind of thing. Uh, but of course, my favorite is using it in the neck position because I'm kind of a jazz player and I kind of like the creaminess you get with the, you know, even rock and roll with the distortion on. I've got this imitation tube screamer. I'm going to turn on right here so you can hear what it sounds like with a little edge. Can't even hear that. Let me turn it up. So you hear that a bit. I got a loose wire or something here. That's the uh, the bridge. Here's the center. And 
And then, of course, here's the bridge. So I don't know if I could do this or not, but I got a recorded track on my sampler here. Let's see if it works. Sounds like it is. Let's see what happens here. Looks like a whole lot of nothing's going to happen. Now, of course, that's the neck. Our bridge. Now, put it on the neck here. Well, there you go. There's a little bit of a sound test for you. My new guitar, the 1975 El de Gas, Les Paul Professional. Like, share, and follow for more, and I'll try to come up with a famous guitar video for you real soon. Talk to you soon, folks.